If you've created a Next 13 app recently, specifically after Next came out with Next 13.2, and you open the app directory, you may notice something is missing. There is no longer a head file. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The reason is in version 13.3, the head special file was deprecated and removed in all future versions. The head file, if you'll remember, is where you kept your metadata. Well, with version 13.2, all your metadata is now kept in the layout.js file. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how this new metadata function works within the layout file. If you open up a Next 13.2 or newer version of Next 13 and you open up the app directory, go ahead and open up the layout file. In this layout file, you'll notice at the top, there's something called export const metadata. This is now where you keep your metadata. Let's go through all the available tags within the metadata object. So one of the first and most important keys within the metadata is your title. This is what controls the name of your site and the tab up here. So for example, in my home metadata, tag. I want to say my next site. Now, if I open up my app, you'll notice the text up here has been changed to my next site. And before I move on, before I forget, there's something called title templates. This is a way if say you just want to have your metadata template in maybe the root of your app, and then maybe in your other pages, maybe you don't want to create a layout. Well, here's how that would work. And I'll put this link in the description below. Below, but you can do it this way in your title in the root of your folder. Instead of putting a string here, you can put an object with a value default. And this is what your default title will be on all your future pages. And then if you use this key template with a percentage sign and an S in your future pages, you can just update the title within the page itself. And it'll just update this portion right here. Let me show you what I mean. So here's my about page. Say I did not want to create a brand new layout for my metadata. Say I just wanted to update this part of the title template and not even worry about any of the other metadata. Well, I could do that by doing this at the top of the page. In the page itself, I could say export const metadata equals object. And in here, if I say title and I'll say about page, what this will do is it will add this text about page right here and then there will be a my title at the end. So let's go to that page and see how that works. So I'm going to go to the about page. So now if I go to my about page, you'll notice in the tab, it says about page my title. So if you'd rather do it that way, you can do it that way. So again, just to explain one more time, if your page does not have a layout in it, you can still add metadata to it, but it's going to use the default template title that you created in the layout, whichever layout is being used for that particular page. So even if that's the root layout, this template will be used for the title in the page. That's at least based on my understanding, looking at the documentation. If I'm wrong about that, after you read the documentation linked in the description below, let us know in the comments below. That's just my understanding. Another thing about nested title layouts, if you use the template, say Say you just add a description, say you do not add a title, maybe you just add a description in the metadata in the about page, then the default title will show up on that screen. So let's go to that page again. If I refresh the page, you'll notice now it just says my title, which was the default title we added in the layout in the global layout. And another option with this template, you could delete this part here. If you would like to have control over the title that way, and now it'll just say about page. So that is another option if you don't want to create another layout page. The next key in metadata that you're probably interested in is description. This is where you can say uh, your description. This will show up in like Google search results for the page. And in the page, if you don't add a description, whatever the layout for that page is, whatever the description 
for the, the layout being used in that page will be shown on that page as well. So if you want a unique description for your page, you're going to want to add a description for your page as well. Again, I'll show this link in the description below. Here are all the basic options. Some other options you're probably interested in is maybe keywords. These are words you want to tell something like Google, help them know what your page site is about. So maybe you would say my next site, next JS, JavaScript. There's an open graph key option. Open graph enables any web page to become a rich object and a social graph. So for that, you can put things like titles, descriptions, URL, images, site name, and it will return something like this. There's an option for robots. You can control how robots operate on your page. For example, if you want Googlebot to be able to index your website, you'll want to use the robots key and then the Google bot key and set index to true. For your icons, like your fav icons, your Apple icons, there's a key called icons. And I'm going to copy the example from the documentation. I'll paste that here. There's a theme color option if you want to set your theme color for that particular page. If you're using web extension APIs, you can use the manifest key. And the documentation says the manifest.json file is the only file that every extension using web extension APIs must contain. There are also social media specific meta tags like Twitter. You can create a Twitter key and set all the values for Twitter, like the card, title, description, site ID, creator, creator ID, images. There's an app key where you can put the name of your app, the ID, the URL. You can update the viewport and there's many other keys available in the metadata. Again, I'll put a link to this in the description below. And that is how to set up your metadata with Next 13.2 and onward. After next 13.2, the head tag stops working. So you should stop using the head tag and start using this export const metadata at the top of your screens instead. You'll want to go ahead and make this switch or it could break your site if you upgrade to 13.2 and you still have head tags in your app directory. Like I said, the head.js special file was deprecated in 13.2 and removed in future versions. So you should stop using them officially. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos every week. Let me know in the comments below, do you like this new metadata system? This new way of creating metadata within pages and layouts? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.